Hey boys, welcome back to some more Dragons 2020 career. It's round 22 of the season and we, uh, we're fast approaching the the finals. And I mean, I, I feel like we're, we're starting to hit a little bit of form. And I say that because we won the last game. <laughs> Even though before that, I think we lost two of our last three. So, I mean, I, we're, we're coming off a good win. Let, let's just, let's leave it at that. But we're taking on the, the Rabbits here who have a, I mean, on paper... A very strong team. The only question in real life, their forward pack was a little bit, um, not, not, I, I wouldn't say weak. Like, they had some good forwards. I mean, Jaden Sewer, obviously a bit unknown, but I really liked him. Cameron Murray, obviously a gun. Um, Liam Knight, you know, decent at times, but they had a lot of young guys like Jaden Sewer and Liam Knight and Colin Matangi and, and you know one of the Burgess boys who was okay, but a lot of their a lot of their young guns did uh, did really stand up. And I mean, Sewer, Sewer was incredible. Um, yeah, absolutely, just played out of his out of his gourd as uh, Latrell Mitchell gets absolutely pelted right there. So a good a good start, a very good start to this game. We're gonna get the pill first up inside the uh, the twenty meter line. It's a great ball across. Oh, you and Haken. Oh, I thought he was through the gap. I think it was Braden Burns came up with a with a big tackle as we try to put in a little kick early there. And that man Braden Burns comes up with a couple of huge defensive plays to stop uh to stop Aiken and then uh come up with the little grubber. So the Rabbits survived the first little tester. And now all of a sudden they're they're straight back on the attack as Burns again. He's he's having a wear of a game. Almost gets to the try line. Thankfully Dufty was was able to get across and, and cover him up as the kick goes across. A bit uh, a bit shallow. Gets batted down beautifully though in Latrell Mitchell. Oh, he came up with an error, but you know, Latrell, he uh he, he, he you know, he came up with some big plays and that right there. I mean it was it was sort of it was the bat down from I think Roberts maybe it was a, it was a great little little play I thought the kick was too shallow and we we're going to be able to just wrap them up pretty comfortably but no beautiful play by the rabbits and there you go six points to nothing pretty early in this contest but both teams I mean looking looking attacking as uh you and Aiken again through the gap here tries to link up out wide but just takes a tackle probably the right idea they had uh plenty of numbers in defense that those ones are just right for intercept so just you know got to get in the habit of just holding on to it i know you like uh, you know i get in the habit of wanting to score a try off a nice line break but most often it's just good to hold the pill is right here beautiful play oh john ferrer gets the ball back paul vaughn how do we not score that was I know I said to hold the footy, but that time the offloads were on, and I don't know how we didn't score. The Rabbitohs came up with some absolute try savers, and then we try to kick it, and the pressure, the pressure got too uh, too quickly on us, and came up with a with an error. So that's a, a disappointing little end of set, but a great kick. It's a is it not a forty twenty? Surely, I thought for sure that was. It was Adam Clune. He's well inside the forty. I, I was I was very confident this landed. I get I mean, I don't know. That's that's why they've said to have the twenty meter flags up. I don't. I still don't know why they don't put that up. Like the <laughs> the in golf uh, posts are a bit meaningless. But the the twenty meter line f posts would actually make sense in the in in real life. And that right there would have been a nice little example. But I don't know. It was probably it was touch and go. We didn't get the benefit of the doubt and. Unfortunately for us, it looks like uh, unless we pull something out of the hut here, the Rabbitohs are going to go with a little a little lead into the halftime break. But we've looked pretty good, honestly. I'm not I'm not disappointed. A lot of times in the in the first halves, I've been a little bit disappointed with our efforts and uh, and all that. But I think uh, I think so far, I think so far we've looked pretty solid. Couple of couple of missed opportunities, but we're we're creating we're creating some good plays and some good momentum but uh coming back from the break here the Rabbitohs with a with a chance to extend the lead james roberts gets through one gets through two gets through three he almost busts his way towards the line oh he's a he's a danger man when he's on song roberts and on the back of that it was too, it was too tough to stop i i I thought they were going to pass it to I think uh, I think it's Big Bert, no Ethan Lowe there coming back on the angle. I was I was covering him. I couldn't get another player across in time, and I think it was Adam Reynolds scores uh, scores another try. That was I mean it was set up by the the Roberts break. It was a great run, and 
that close to the try line when they throw a ball out like that is you sort of have to anticipate who who it's going to and unfortunately that time we weren't able to was great play there you and Aiken again through the gap gets it to Jason Saab threw it back on the inside just hold the footy I think right there I was worried about going into touch Braden Burns is going to streak away Josh Kerr I thought he had the angle on him but couldn't quite cut him off but uh Oh, that's that's a killer. That's an absolute killer. We shouldn't have thrown it. I, I I think I panicked and I thought he was going into touch. I was trying to flop it back, but yeah, that was a that's a big moment. That's a big big moment in this game. And all of a sudden, we're uh, we're getting pumped. 18 points to nothing. I feel like we we definitely been better than that. But you know the the errors are costly and the missed opportunities are, are coming back to to bite us here as a great ball Paul Vaughan now through the gap we're still I mean our attack is still looking sharp I uh, disappointing scoreline but the game itself I, I you know I, th I think there's good signs I think there's good signs there much better than uh previously like early in the season that that's not a good sign <laughs> he is going to go into touch though thankfully otherwise Campbell Graham I think was was going to scoot down the sideline <laughs> That was not a nice bit of play. That was very sloppy, but I, I think we've looked pretty sharp in attack. We just need to just need to capitalize on these chances. Zach Lomax gets a nice little ball. John Pereira finally scores our first try. Nice little acrobatic finish in the corner there, but, you know, scrum scrum plays, I love them. They, they're very nice, and, you know, they're easy to score off, but they, they're always satisfying to, to score, and uh, Lomax does the business setting up his... Uh, his wing mate in uh, John Pereira. So, I mean, a big kick. A big kick. If we if we get this, we're still in the contest as uh, Lomax absolutely nails that. Swings around beautifully. So, 18 points to 6. 15 minutes to go. If, uh, if we get another quick one here where we're in the game, it's a beautiful ball. So, I some help John Pereira. Lomax, he was away. It was Burgess that came up with the tackle. All he had to do was find a little bit of space. Burgess would not have caught him. And then we're running on our last play here. Nice play. Adam Kloon for the trial line gets there. Oh, the comeback is on. We're, we're look I mean, I've said it the whole game, but our attack is on song here. Um, we could have scored previously with Lomax, but Bird just came up with a try saver. And then a last tackle, a little bit in two minds, but shifted it out, uh, out wide. And Adam Kloon. Oh, no, we missed the kick. Oh, we missed the kick, Zach Lomax. Oh, that is disastrous. But regardless, we've given the Rabbitohs um, a chance to absolutely put the nail in the coffin here. Couple of, couple of tackles left. A few minutes left in the game. It's going to be tough, tough from this position regardless. But if they score here, it's well and truly game set and matches. Damian Cook out of dummy half is going to burrow his way over. So, uh, dis a disappointing way to finish. We, we, we're in with a, a good shot there to make a uh, comeback. But I think that misconversion just rattled us a little bit. We had the momentum. We had the momentum. And I, uh, we were coming home with a wet sail. But just an error from the kickoff. And the Rabbitohs are going are gonna to put the icing on the cake here. So, 24 to 10. I mean, again... I, <laughs> You know, you can't say it's a, a good game from us. We, we played pretty sloppy. Too many mistakes. Um, defensively, a little bit weaker and uh, missed opportunities for sure. But uh, our overall attack looked uh, looked pretty slick. Looked pretty slick. And wet weather footy, I mean, obviously a little bit tougher. So disappointed, but not, uh, not, not overly disappointed. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.